Happy Monday, everybody. Goofy Challenge Training Week 3. It is Monday, September 9th, and it is already after 6 a.m., and the sun will be up in about 15 minutes, and I'm getting a very late start. Later start than normal. Kind of a restless night's sleep last night, which is why I allowed myself a little bit of extra sleep. A little, I slept in, you know, slept in uh, as best I could. Um, gonna ease into my warm-up here. I'm gonna get the dog and head out for four miles or 48 minutes. Nice and easy, zone one. I'm gonna finish my coffee and start my warm-up. Well, that was without a doubt one of the worst runs I've had in months. Biggest issue I'm having today, I don't know, I, I didn't sleep well. I ate great last night, but I mean, this was just a bad run and bad runs happen. Sometimes all you need to kind of regroup and feel better about your Monday is to get a haircut. One of the things that I do for cross training sort of is uh, I have added some walks evening walks into my plan. Um, every single one of them is optional, but I also know that what these walks will do is kind of train me to just be on my feet. And the more you're on your feet, the better prepared you're gonna be for those long days when you get to Walt Disney World. Um, this is a 15 minute walk and that's it. I'm not going far, I'm not going fast, and I'm certainly not wearing <laughs> the proper footwear or clothing. It's just a nice, easy evening walk as the sun sets. You know, you can get out of the shot. Hey guys, it is a cross training day today. Tuesdays and Thursdays are... my cross training. Uh, today I'm going to be doing some yoga. Uh, it's It was a late night last night. I'm feeling a bit tired, a bit slow today. So I'm just going to do 20 to 30 minutes of yoga. Normally I would do either TRX or swimming, but yoga is a nice thing to add in because it's still, I still feel like it's a good workout with, without overdoing it. The fun part about doing yoga is the dog likes to help. Begin by lying on the mat. Breathe deeply, looking forward at a fixed point. Allow your human to move as she needs. Observe and demonstrate proper form. If your human looks sad, cheer her up by biting her fingers. Try to focus your mind even if your human won't play with you. Relax as you move into passive-aggressive doggo, breathing deeply into the floor. As your human finishes her practice, give her kisses so she remembers you still exist. Because even when she tries to ignore you, she really, really can't. Kisses are a great way to find out if your human is awake. The thing about cross training for me, and I know a lot of people kind of have this issue that if, if you have to prioritize your week, especially in a distance running plan, you're gonna prioritize your runs. Uh, and then if you run out of time or energy, you skip the cross training. Uh, and I know I do that. I'm. In my third week of a 20 week plan, which is fine, I'm just looking at this like, 
okay, I have to prioritize the cross training. And even if I'm not doing a lot of hard cross training, something is better than nothing. Just like with a warm up and the cool down, some cross training is better than nothing. So the yoga was really nice this morning to get that active recovery in. Oh, look at that. Good morning, everybody. Um, okay, another tempo run today, very similar to what I did last week. Uh, this one had a bit longer warm up and cool down, but still a two mile tempo run. Same problems with this, this run that I did last week uh, when I had trouble. Thank you. I had trouble getting into zone three, staying there. I would either overshoot it and end up in zone four, or I couldn't get into, or I couldn't stay up in zone three. The other issue I had was that my heart rate monitor was just in the wrong spot on my wrist. It wasn't reading as well as it should have. Yes, I know there are rabbits. Um, so it was giving me inaccurate data and I was kind of struggling with that for the first 20 minutes. So. This time around, I did an 18 minute warm up and an 18 minute cool down and two miles in tempo, uh, just over four miles. Okay, one of the things that I love having at my disposal is the number of weights I have, okay? So I have everything from three pound dumbbells, five, eight, 10, 12, pairs of all of those. I have a single 15, a single 20. Uh, I have resistance bands. I have Gary, my triathlon bike for cross training. I have just a lot of things at my disposal. I tend to, I don't use the weights as often as I used to. That was kind of a fitness phase I went through with aerobics with light weights. It worked out really well. I enjoyed <clears throat> that particular type of workout, but as a runner, I need to do something a little differently. actually able to participate in so he ran a mile and a, like 1.3 miles and was amazing it was so fun to watch him do that on the schedule yesterday as I mentioned I had the tempo run and I did that uh, the other thing I had was um, an afternoon walk evening walk I don't beat myself up over missing those specifically if i'm just not feeling yesterday it. uh with the cross country meet i did a lot of walking around anyway so i was across the park and across the park again and then back across the park and across it was probably a mile and a half to two miles of walking so i was on my feet i just didn't record it so i'll probably plug something into training peaks to represent that time on my feet um <laughs> Funny thing yesterday that I noticed after I finished my workout, um, when I synced my Garmin to Garmin Connect, uh, the number of steps that I had achieved at that moment was exactly 10,000. I'm like, I couldn't do that again if I tried. Today was definitely is definitely a cross training day. I gotta go get dressed and actually do it.
that torture's over. I don't know what it is. TRX just never gets easier. Okay. Uh, 30 minutes or so. On the TRX trainer, I did a lot of modifications because, and hang on a second. I need to put you on a stand because I can't hold my arms up anymore. Okay, that's better. Yeah, I um, had to, I do a lot of modifications with that particular workout. There are some challenging moves in there, very complex. So I break it down. And I think this is something we have to remember when we're doing cross training. Um, we can take cross training to wherever we want to go. Um, we don't have to push to the max all the time. I got a plenty good workout. I'm going to be slightly sore tomorrow, which is why I got this guy. Hi, hi, hi. You feel that? Cause I do. Ah. Okay. Good morning, everybody. I am out for a five mile or 60 minute run. Beautiful morning here in Colorado. Purple sunrises, purple sunsets. We've had some beautiful creeping up on fall type weather this uh, last few months or last couple of couple of weeks. So I can feel it coming. I feel it coming. It's gonna be so nice. This was five miles or 60 minutes, whichever came first. Uh, I didn't hit, I hit 60 minutes first. Over four miles, 4.15 miles according to the watch right now. I felt like I was really working, even staying in that low zone. It just felt really good. Guys, I had a horrible run on Monday, right? This is probably the absolute opposite of that. Just felt really good. It's nice and cool so that we are kind of feeling that little snap in the air, that little crisp. Uh, and I mean, let's just look at this morning. You can't go wrong. So here is a little bit, I wanna tell you a little bit about what I did on Wednesday. I know I didn't explain that very well. Um, so part of one of the training plans that I did that I'm actually, you know, in a past life, this is dopey challenge, I think take one. The training plan I was using also incorporated a lot of very short cross training sets. So five minutes. Okay, five up to 10 minutes. They weren't really optional, but they were so short and so effective that you don't really need much more than that. And this is the approach that I take to cross training. If it is targeted and, um, and specific to what you're doing, then you don't need a whole lot to stay strong total body as a runner and keep your running health going. Loops. So those resistance loops, I'm gonna leave a link to uh, those loops in the description below. I got those on Amazon. They are very inexpensive and they are worth having in your arsenal at the very least. Thing is, if you get injured and you have some kind of running injury, more often than not, they're gonna give you resistance bands exercises to do anyway. So if you do them ahead of time, you're actually helping yourself as a runner. Good morning, happy Saturday, happy long run. <sighs> Two hours and 12 minutes on the plan today, or 11 miles, it's gonna be the time that comes first. I am currently warming up around my living room. It's typically what I do when I don't wanna go outside. My dog is ready to go. He's ready to go with me. Now, you may be asking, do you actually take your dog for the full two hours? I did last week, uh, he seemed to be fine, but I don't wanna do that every week. So today's gonna be a little different as far as a long run goes. I'm gonna take him out and around for hour and 15 minutes, hour and a half, and then I'm gonna bring him back here. So I'm gonna do a loop, bring him back, um, drop him off and replenish any water or anything that I need, and then go back out and finish off my run. settling into this training plan and the philosophy behind it that it's not about mileage it's about effort 
and time on your feet. And this is this was a fantastic run. It was challenging. Toward the end there, the last half half hour was particularly rough. But it was good. It, this was a good run. Very happy with it. Hey guys, although the week started out with a really lousy run, I was able to kind of push that aside, let it go, and get a lot of really great runs in, a lot of great miles. The weather is getting cooler. I know the nutrition changes have made a huge difference. And I just feel like I'm settling into this training plan. That first run of the week was not, you know, a precursor of things to come, which made me feel really good. I do know myself well enough though to know that not every bad run is as easy to let go of. And I know that there will be those times when, you know, I'll have a bad run and I'm gonna cling to it for a couple of days. But this one was pretty good. I was really happy with with how this whole week went. The cross training was great. I think I, I did as much as I could really fit in this week. I did miss one optional walk and I didn't do as much of those resistance loops and PT kind of exercises as I would have liked and I even missed out on a foam rolling session. But guys, you know, life gets in the way, right? And if we're gonna prioritize cross training, sometimes that gets hard to do. But that cross training is kind of the unsung hero, kind of the silent partner, if you will, in a distance running plan, isn't it? Like we can run all the time and still get good workouts in, but if we keep doing that without the cross training and the strength training to kind of bolster and reinforce the running strength that we need, we will compromise our running health and make ourselves more prone to injury. So coming up this week, I will be spending some time talking more about incorporating cross training into your distance running plan, what you can do, what are some of your options, and how to make it a priority and why it's so important. On the podcast, Jen and I will be talking about social media and its effects on runners and how we can use it in a positive way and how we can keep from using it in a negative way. And next week, I will be talking about how all of these nutrition changes have affected my plan. Uh, now I'm finishing up Whole30 in the coming week and um, I, I want to dive a little bit into how that has affected my running as well because it has affected it in a positive way. So seven and a half hours of training on the week, t almost 21 miles, um, which is really good. I feel like I'm on track for week three of the Goofy Challenge training plan. My question for you today is this, what is your preferred cross training method for runners? Please leave thoughts, questions, comments, and suggestions in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Guys, thanks for following along this week. The yoga thing with the dog, that was just too much. Okay. <laughs> thanks, you guys. I'll see you on the next one. And until then, go find your awesome and happy running.